Don't worry about that. We'll get back to that here in a minute. Well, I said I'd mention how I made my uh, cross sled here, my bandsaw. You can get these uh, in plastic and sand them down, or you can make them out of hard wood, basically in a straight line. Uh, leave an inch or so over past where your blade is and let your saw make that cut. That way when you set up, you know where your cutting is gonna be at. You need to sand this down real good on the bottom. And you will also need to use some beeswax or another wax on it. Because the easier this slides, the better off you're gonna be in the long run. So you need to make sure the bottom is nice and smooth. Top, it don't matter. And then you get a chance to flip it off. I put these uh, quarter 20 inserts in, a total of 12 of them. I did this so they hold my fence good and I have plenty of room to move back and forth across the table. That's the bottom part, your base. Take your time making the base, so that's really your hardest project. Because if this don't work right, nothing else gonna work. Then you're gonna make your little fence for it. I made these big slots here, and they correspond with my uh, insert. I got three sets. They intercord with this real easy. The part where the log sets up, I did five of these little slots, and two at each slot. Allows me to tighten up where my log is. Simple 45 piece back here, blew it in, staple it. Whatever you wanna do, you're good there. And now you can move across as you need to on your base here. And for me, I put these uh, two lines here. My orange line basically says I need to stop cutting. My back line tells me that my screw out here will be uh, in my saw blade. So it's quick, easy warning signs. You can fix out, do what you need real easy. Generally speaking, I would say you need about half the size of this table, which is good to deal with because when you're out this big, and when you start going over here, that's a massive piece of log. The bad news is, I actually have them logs right here. This is about a 20 incher, and it will take up every bit of this room on our saw. But to do that, you need to have a uh, easy in, in and out feed for your saw because you can't hold this big monster otherwise. It's not much, but uh, this is my little cross sled that I used to cut these logs here up. I got a lot of good looking lumber out of them. Uh, by the end of the week, I'm hoping to have some uh, oak come in. This is American Sycamore here which is almost as hard as your oak. And yes, you can break your bandsaw blades cutting this stuff. On my cross sled here, cut a couple extra holes in it. So I can turn my uh, fence sideways to 90 degrees. Cause I want to get these cuts here. And uh, this is a little bit too big in diameter to cut on the miter saw. So now I can push the log out here on the end and saw off a little piece. I can small, cut smaller pieces that really push out the saw. Uh, just do yourself a favor, make sure Use these screw holes and hold your bar, your log in place. 